No, it wouldn't take long. I'm not a tech genius, but I figured that out. Okay, are we live? I think we're live. Mm. Uh, yes, we are. There we go. Okay, so um, Val, I'll obviously introduce us. Uh, introduce you, sorry, because um, it's yep. not about me, it's about you. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just ask questions and uh, you just chat away and say, you know, exactly what you want. So um, welcome to everyone this evening. Um, I'm really, really excited. I just had a very quick chat with Val. Uh, not not as much depth as we're going to go into this tonight. And I'm really, really excited to share Val's story with you. Um, I think her story is going to be really inspirational for a lot of women really motivational um especially considering everything she's kind of gone through um over the last few years up to this point and if you can watch this i'd highly recommend it and obviously at the end you're going to be able to ask questions you're going to be able to ask questions from of me of val so stick around right to the end because i'm sure like last time with natalie's um live there was plenty of questions at the end so if you have any stick around right to the end and you'll have that opportunity so First of all, we've had loads of newbies. The group has got over a thousand women now. So first of all, if you're new to the group, just write newbie in the comments. Um, if you're watching this live, say hello so we can see who's watching. And if you're watching this in the future at some point, just put a hashtag replay so we can see when people are watching this on catch up. Um, so newbie, hello, or a hashtag replay. Um, so this is Val. Um, she's an incredible woman. Um, <laughs> okay she she might she, i don't know whether she's gonna agree with that but i think me and her coach Lindsay, think she's incredible she's got a really cool story to share um tonight um so i think the best place to start val is obviously before you worked with us um so you kind of jumped on board in january so can you kind of fill in the blanks and share with people before you started working with us um how you felt um, what was going on and kind of that backstory leading up to that point. Um, right. Okay. How, how sort of far back did you want to go though, Adam? Um, entirely, entirely up to you. Very, very briefly. Um, I first started to have problems with my weight going back to about 25 years now. Um, I'd been a very, very heavy smoker and um, I decided to give up smoking and I was determined I wasn't going to pile the weight on. So I went off down the gym and thought I was doing absolutely everything right. Um, and the weight just came on. Um, I was diagnosed with an underactive thyroid um, and was obviously sort of on medication and everything for it. Um, but I couldn't shift the weight. So sort of over a period of about the last 25 years, the weight has steadily crept up um, for one reason or another, but definitely the underactive thyroid um, played a huge part. Um, bringing it sort of up to date or into the last sort of two or three years, um, what sort of started off for me was back in 2018, um, my little grandson, he was only five months and he died. Um, he died from SIDS. Um, and obviously with all of that, there was all the trauma and everything. Um, obviously helping my, you know, my daughter try to cope with, with the loss of her son and everything. And I have to say that um, eating wasn't a top priority. So it was very much just grab whatever was available. Um, I started drinking quite heavily, if I'm honest, um, just trying to drown out what was going on in my life at that time. Um, so it was August 2018. Um, I think it was around about February, March 2019. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, prior to having any surgery, I was told that it was a grade two and it would just be surgery and radiotherapy but after the surgery they found out it was a grade three um, and had gone into a lymph node so I ended up having chemotherapy um, obviously during that time I lost all my hair um, it was 
it was a really horrendous period of time because the the treatment was far worse I, I hadn't felt unwell I hadn't felt a, a lump or anything so I'd been you know in my mind I'd been quite well to that point and then had this you know cancer treatment chemotherapy which just totally knocked me for six um, and probably really destroyed a lot of well it did destroy my confidence because you know having you know lost my hair um that was a huge thing and then when it grew back um it grew back very curly <laughs> um and it's something that i was blonde um i know it was out of a bottle but it was i was still blonde i was blonde and very straight hair and this massive dark curly hair came back um and you don't recognize yourself in the mirror um, so I'd gone back to work in March 2021, wondering what on earth, no, sorry, 2020, because we're 2021 now, 2020 thinking, well, what's this year's disaster going to be? Um, and we went into a pandemic. Um, so I managed to take everybody else with me into this, you know, last year's disaster. Um, again, it didn't help my confidence because... At the end of 2019, I'd been hoping to sort of, you know, I'd been given the all clear for the cancer um, and that, you know, I was booking a cruise and things to go on and, you know, start living my life and um, got thrown into um, lockdown, into shielding um, and basically didn't come out of, you know, leave my house from March until August. Um, and that had quite a, an effect on me. So I think by the time I got to you in January, I was feeling pretty low um, and certainly needing some support. Um, and one of the things for me, and I can remember when we had our little one-to-one -one chat, um, sat there crying, um, because the thing for me was that um, I hadn't got any really nice photos of me and my grandson together because I've always hated my photo being taken. So I felt quite um, quite sad by that. And, um, you know, I've gone through, I'm not going to be fat and 40. I've gone through, I'm not going to be fat and 50. And now I've got to do it, you know, because I'm definitely not going to be fat and 60. You're, you're, you're definitely not fat. Um... <laughs> Thank, thank you so much for, for sharing all, all of that. Obviously, some of that, I've done, I'm not sure even I've kind of heard some of that. So um, already, like, I can see that there's, like, there's quite a lot of women watching tonight and there's quite a lot that have already started pressing, like, the love heart button and, and stuff like that. So, ladies, obviously, if you are, if you're watching um, tonight, like, Val's obviously really opening up, which I think is incredible um do you know press that like button that love heart button and let us know like you're appreciating what you're saying i'm just going to quickly just see um who's who's on because there is over there's nearly nearly 25 women live like which is which is quite a lot for for a live we get like obviously a few hundred that will watch this over the next couple of days um so uh carol one of the new uh joanna who signed up today she's joined us today uh joey only signed up a little while ago uh jane Sam signing up this week. She's watching uh, another Jane, Debbie, uh, Carol, who's one of our members. L Lorraine, Lorraine's watching. Said she is amazing. So I knew Lorraine. I knew Lorraine would be watching. Uh, they're friends for people that are watching from home. Uh, Janet, I'm going to be speaking to Janet tonight to find out a little bit more about Janet. Uh, Diane, Karen, there's loads. Uh, and already, yeah, Debbie's per amazing lady. Sam, you've got this. Uh, Joanna, wow, big hugs. So there's lots of love for you already, Val. Um, mm. Okay, so we got to got to January, and obviously you felt very low in confidence in uh, a place where you know you weren't very happy. But leading up to that, like obviously you've been through cancer, you had breast cancer, which like you know to get over that is incredible. Um, but in terms of diet wise, in terms of like weight loss, what tell us a little bit about that history as well, because I know that there's some interesting stories there as well to share. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I tried a huge amount of different diets. Um, I did uh, Cambridge probably um, the very first time I did Cambridge. I think I lasted about two days on it and then probably binged 
absolutely everything that was in the cupboard because I was just starving. Um, I have done um, Weight Watchers. I've done Slimming World. I've done the Atkins. I have done um, all the various sort of like diet pills, Zenical, the things you get from the GP. Mm. Um, I'd gone through just about everything going. Um, and then back in, it would have been 2009, I think, um, I was just absolutely desperate. I couldn't shift the weight. And I think at that time, I'm sure her name was Fern Britton from this morning. Yeah. And I think she'd had a gastric band fitted. And um, for some silly reason, I thought, oh, that sounds like a really good idea. Um, and somebody I knew that was quite a bit bigger than me at the time had actually um, gone to Belgium to have a gastric band fitted. So I thought, well, that's, you know, that, that sounds like a good idea. So the chap who did it for me had a clinic up in London. So I went to see him and basically booked myself in to go over to Belgium to have a gastric band fitted, um, which I did. And I have to say, probably for the first two, three months, it was good. It was, it, you know, it, it did what it said it was going to do. Um, obviously, when you first start with anything like that, you can only have fluids um, and then you sort of get on to the, like, the, the more solid stuff, so like custard and that sort of thing. Um, that was absolutely fine. Uh, the weight started dropping off, which was great. Um, and then I would have to go to London to get the band tightened. And at no point did I ever get that band to tighten very much. It was literally a half a meal each time. Um, and I don't know what went wrong, um, but something went wrong with it. Um, I think I actually told Lindsay that I'd had this gastric band for two years. But when, when you said that you wanted to talk to me about things, I actually said, <laughs> sat down with my husband and we went over the dates and actually it was five years I had this gastric band for. Wow. During that five years time, um, I do apologise to anybody if they're eating or anything. Um, <laughs> I became extremely good at being able to vomit and walk. Um, it was to the point that every day um at any given point I wouldn't know whether I could actually eat or not that day and it was only once you started to eat that you would know whether you could or not um and I could literally be something as tiny as just like a little piece of carrot would have me being violently sick um the embarrassment of it you know wherever I used to go um we were actually um <laughs> It was my silver wedding anniversary and I always called it the gastric band revenge because I knew at that point the band was coming out and we were having our anniversary meal um, in a hotel in the Isle of Wight and um, I'd managed to get to the toilet in time to vomit and gone back to the table um, without any warning at all then completely just vomited what was left in my stomach. And of course, had to leave the table. And my husband, bless him, didn't think to clear it up or anything. Um, and the next morning, we were sort of contacted on the phone by the manager saying, please don't come down for breakfast, you know. And they obviously thought I had a terrible bug. Um, but we left the hotel very quickly because of the embarrassment. But for five years, I basically would have to look wherever we went anywhere and have to look to see where the toilets were. Um, you know, and if anybody ever sort of tried to pin me in against a wall so I couldn't get out, I just, oh, it, it was just horrendous. So I did have that gastric band removed. Um, it was very fortunate I had it removed on the NHS um, in 2014, it must have been. Um, and it was, it was the best thing I'd done to have it removed. Um, they told me at the time that they don't do gastric bands because they, they don't work. So I would always say to anyone, if you're ever thinking about having any sort of surgery like that, please don't do it. Because um, when I used to go up to London to have it um, 
well it was mainly to get the, anything out of it because I, I just couldn't have any restriction in there at all um to, you know for the last few years I would sit and listen to women saying that they'd literally they'd eaten a teaspoon of mashed potato and they were sat there getting this band their bands tightened because they didn't want to eat more than a teaspoon of mashed potato um and then you'd listen to other people that would actually um blend down mars bars and things so that they could you know have a liquefied mars bar that's not doing you any good at all you know it's it's not dealing with the mental aspect of what's going on in people's lives um so that was my gastric band experience um and like i say i would never recommend anyone ever go to anything like that a uh, few years later i attempted to see cambridge diet again and again it was I had such grim determination. Um, it's very rare I've ever had grim determination for anything really, but at that point I was absolutely convinced that I was going to do it. And I did, I lost five, five and a half stone, literally in five months, the weight just oh. fell off of me. Um, I didn't have a life, of course. Um, you know, you can't, you can't live on milkshakes alone, milkshakes and chocolate bars alone. Um, so yeah, I, after five and a half months, I was feeling so great. I was a size 12. Um, the comments that I got from people was just absolutely amazing. People wouldn't recognize me. It was fabulous. Um, I then, oh, I've, I've written it down here just so I get it right. I actually put back on four stone, um, four and a half stone in just over a year. Wow. So again, um, I, I put myself through um, really tough times because it was, it, it was it was a really difficult thing to do. You have to be so strong-willed. And like I say, I had this grim determination, um, but it was just heartbreaking to actually see all that weight just pile back on again. So you've obviously, like, it's you've tried lots of different things, you've had the gastric band and you've lost lots of weight several times. Yep. Um, why do you think that the weight hasn't stayed off each of those times and it's always come back? Because I, I don't think they ever addressed anything that was going on. Um, for me, how I feel at the moment is I feel confident now that I've got my head into the right space. Um, I've taken ownership. Um, it's me that's gained this weight and it's got to be down to me to get rid of it. You know, obviously with your support, with Lindsay's support, um, but it's, it's, it's getting my head in that right space. The gastric band didn't teach me anything at all. Um, all it actually showed me was that actually I was probably the fattest bulimic um, at the time because I spent so much of my time with the head down the toilet being sick um, that that doesn't teach you how to to deal with food and nor does the Cambridge actually you know you you you're, you're doing something that is not sustainable and that is with the Cambridge that was shown so clearly that how quickly that weight went back on again yeah that's that's incredible that you lost like more than five stone and nearly all of it within like a year that that's yeah. and unfortunately i i you know that you're not the first person i've heard that kind of story from like I, so i think there's quite a few of the ladies we work with that have done the cambridge diet specifically mm -hmm. because lots of people do see big amounts of weight loss but when they come to us they've regained it all. yeah um, when we speak to them um and really similar story to, um yeah, really similar story to what you're saying. Um, I just wanted to let you know, Val, uh, Lindsay's watching. Um, she's giving you a big, uh, <laughs> like, one of those uh, emojis. So I think she's she's loving your story as well. Um, there's lots of really positive comments for you, Val. Um, so I think people are really enjoying, like, hearing your story and, like, everything that's happened. Okay, so, wow, like, there's loads there. So you've overcome breast cancer, you've had a gastric band for like five years, you've done the Cambridge diet, you've done like every diet on the sun and up to this point, 
nothing has stuck. Um, obviously, we're not finished. We're, we're only a, a small kind of part into your journey. Um, mm. But so how how's that been so far? It's been really good. It's it's it has been really good. Um, I've I've really enjoyed it because I've adapted my diet. Um, I haven't had to change it. And that's always been one of the big things is, you know, if you do anything like Slimming World, you know, your calorie counting, um, you're changing what you eat. Yeah, I've, I've definitely changed stuff that I've eaten. It's, you know, I'm not going to argue about that, but it's the proportions of, of things. Um, I made a conscious effort. I, I know that with your group, you say that you can still have, you know, your chocolate, your crisps, your alcohol, your glass of wine. Um, I actually made a conscious effort and, uh, you know, that I am not going to have alcohol. And that is my decision because alcohol has always been my nemesis, to be quite honest. Um, I'm not saying for one moment I'm an alcoholic. I'm not an alcoholic at all. Um, but I've always been the sort of person, I love a glass of wine. Um, I don't like just the glass of wine, though. I need to have the bottle. Um, and, you know, when you're doing that on a regular basis, um, you know, how many people actually sit there and will, you know, drink alcohol of an evening and then not sort of grab the snacks? You know, you have a you know, bar of chocolate or a packet of crisps with it. And, and before you know it, you've sort of consumed your day's worth of calories, just sat there for a couple of hours in the evening. So <clears throat> for me, that, that was my conscious decision. I knew I could have the wine if I wanted it. But I've, I've said, no, that's it. But I, I just feel, you know, obviously I've got Lindsay that supports me every week. Um, and it's great. It's great having someone that, is is there giving you the advice and you know saying yes that's that's the right track or no it's not yeah. the right track <laughs> um but yeah and and so, you know being supportive and sort of you know confirming that what you're doing is right and I, I think also giving you that bit of reassurance because I, I think because it's certainly with the gastric band and the Cambridge diet, I, I, I was seeing huge, you know, drops in my weight very, very quickly. Yes. Whereas this has been really sort of, I'm not going to say slow because I don't think it is slow, but it's been steady um, and it's sustainable. Um, and it's been great because actually I don't feel like I've been doing anything different, really. I've, I've tweaked things, but it's going great it really is that's that's really really good to hear um for me like one of one of the reasons why i've always wanted to do this is because i have seen like women i know women in my life that have i i hate to use the word suffer um especially considering all the things that you women have to go through in terms of like child labor, like all of that kind of stuff, but in terms of suffering on a diet, like, mm. so, you know, depriving yourself, like, um, like you kind of described in terms of the Cambridge diet and stuff like that. And I wanted to show that it is completely possible to enjoy your life, still have a life mm. um, and still kind of get where you want to go. So that's, that's really, really good to hear. What, mm. what do you think has, like obviously you've lost weight um i think we were saying before the call is it 14 pounds in 10 weeks uh probably 15 pounds in 10 weeks i think yeah which for someone who's got an underactive thyroid um such a, i think like really good progress um obviously it sounds like you're happy as well with that it, but what what else what else has changed for you like obviously you've lost weight um, is there anything else that you you're kind of noticing and as, as a result of the work that we like Lindsay's done with you yeah there's lots that's changed actually um my confidence has grown so much um I I know I still have three and a half stone to go to get where I want to go but I know I'm going to get there and I'm going to be there by the end of this year um 
I do feel confident with it. I feel in control. Um, for the first time, it's me that's it's me that's calling the shots. It's not the diet. I'm not having somebody say, oh, you know, you must eat so many grams of this and so many grams of that. And, you know, you can't have this. You can't have that. I mean, yeah, there's, this, you know, the, the bits about the protein and that and your, your vegetables and everything. But it, it doesn't feel like it's a struggle. Um, I definitely have this confident, confidence about it. I've taken ownership. Like I say, I've taken ownership of this. I know this is down to me. Um, I do have a, a, a guilty secret program, which I watch. And actually, I would recommend other people <laughs> do it as well, if I'm honest. Um, I will plug it. My £600 life. And I know I'm nowhere near £600 and I never will be. But I just think, watch it. Because when you see people that are putting so much food into their mouths and then, you know, they see the doctor and the doctor says, well, why haven't you lost weight then? And say, oh, I don't know. And you sit there absolutely shouting at the TV. Well, of course you haven't because you've just gorged on all that food. And it, it, I think having watched a few of them now, it's made me realise that I have got to take ownership and I have taken ownership of it. I know this is down to me. Um, I've obviously dropped to dress size, which is fantastic because that has really given me the confidence. You know, my size 18s, they've gone. The clothes have gone out of my wardrobe. They've been taken away. Um, and I'm into my 16s, which that, that, that in itself just gives me a confidence. Um, I do a lot more walking. I'm definitely more active. And I walk upright now as well, which is fantastic because I think when you're really overweight, I think when you tend to walk, you tend to sort of be all slumped over because you don't want people to notice you and things. But yeah, I walk, you know, I, I walk with pride now, to be quite honest. Like I say, I know I've got some ways to go, but you've seen those pictures of that lovely, you know, flabby tummy I had and, and it's going, it's great. Yeah, it definitely is. Like already, like obviously, you haven't lost the the kind of you know five stone yet and stuff like that. But you can already see the changes in those pictures, like massively, which it which is which is great. Um, what what do you think has helped you to feel in control? Like, what what do you think that maybe Lindsay or or the program has given you so that you now feel like I'm I'm in control. I know now, like, that this is it. Like, what what has done that for you? Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm the best person to ask about that, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, because I, I can remember saying to you right from the very word go, I am not the best person at Facebook. Um, and I'm not. Um, but do you know what? Every so often I will I will go on to the, the group and I'll, I'll put my messages in. And, and, you know, when I've put something in and people have responded, that has been great. Um, having the one to ones with Lindsay is absolutely great. All the stuff that you provide, um, you know, all, all of the speakers that are there, you know, all the people that are doing the exercise programs and things. There's so much to be, you know, part of that group. And I haven't accessed half of it, to be quite honest. Um, you know, I, I keep meaning to, and every so often, you know, I will sort of have a little binge watch on things, but sometimes life just gets in the way. Um, but th there is so much. Um, and your enthusiasm and Lindsay's enthusiasm is, is just great. It's... <laughs> When I used to go to Slimming World, I, I used to sit there and quietly fume because I always felt that the people that ran Slimming World had their little favourites. And there was always those in the group. And of course, they always loved the people that were the big weight losers, um, you know, that could really do it. And I've never been one of those. I've always been the, you know, steady Eddie that will sort of, you know, lose a pound, maybe if, if I'm lucky, two pounds and I'm doing really well unless, of course, I'm doing something very drastic. Um, 
but I always felt that I was just a number, uh, well, I was just the, what, 495 a week number, basically. I was handed over my money. They were, you know, measuring me on the scales. And that was it. That, that, that was all I ever really got out of them. Whereas here, you know, there, there's so much more. And I, I know that if I have a problem, I can message Lindsay, I can message you, you know, if I need support from the group. You, you know, I've just got to put a message on. That's all I have to do. Um, and there's there's going to be a massive amount of people that support you and things. So, oh, there, there's so much you know to be had from Ark. To be quite honest. Oh, thank you, thank you, Val. Um, that's so. Like, I really, really appreciate your kind words. Um, in fact, I just want to add something here because I know that there's a few women um, that are watching that are current members, and then there's uh, quite a few actually that have literally just signed up this week, like in the last week. Um, I just want to highlight that you clearly said, Val, there's loads there. Yeah. But you ha you haven't had to access it, like, to be able to get those results. And I, I want to really highlight that because I know that for some people, the, the group, you know, there is loads of stuff there. Now, the idea isn't to overwhelm people, um, which is why we work one-to-one. -one, so we can be, you know, very kind of, this is the path mm -hmm. we want you to kind of follow. Um and for those that are kind of new joining, like, don't be overwhelmed by all of that stuff. That stuff is there when, when and as you need it and you have the time. It's not, you know, it's not all the stuff that matters. Like, as Val just showed, like she said, she's not accessed it all. So, um, yes, we have loads. There's guest speakers. There's Q&As. There's, like, all of this stuff going on. But it's not all of that stuff that, like, is you know, the, the vital stuff. Um, I, I think like you've given so much tonight, Val, like in terms of your story, like where you're at now, is there, is there anything else you wanted to add at all? Like anything else you wanted to say? I just think really that weight loss is very individual. Um, what works for one doesn't necessarily work for another. And I think this is why ARC works actually is because you're not doing a blanket, you know, one size fits all. It's very much, you know, what do you need from us at the moment? Um, you know, what do we talk about next week? What do we talk about last week? And, and it is, it's very individual. It's an individual plan. Um, and you, you sort of do get the best of both worlds because you get that individual plan, but you also get the group stuff. So it does, it, you know, it, it, it fits everybody, really, because you take you take what you want when you when you want it, when you need it. Um, you know, and just like with Lindsay, she says, we well, don't have to read everything. You don't have to watch everything. And, you know, let me know what you what is, you know, going on for you at the moment. And I'll highlight what you need to be watching. And yeah, it's yeah, it's great. Awesome. Thank, thank you. Val. Best, best thing I've done best thing i've done this year <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> really really appreciate that Val. um okay so um we're going to kind of finish up um so if people have questions so obviously val's talked loads like I could, there's so many amazing comments val um people here like i'll just read a few out to you um truly inspiring i want to learn all that you are all you're describing um Someone else has watched 600 pound life as well. Um, Sat, you've got Sam excited because she's going to be working with Lindsay. Um, Lorraine obviously is commenting. She said, you've got this. There's, lo there's loads, loads of really, really positive comments. Um, so anyone that's watching, if you've got any kind of questions for Val, and it could be about anything, her past experiences, her current experiences, like anything whatsoever, um, stick them in the comments. While, whilst you're thinking or typing up your questions, um, I've got an announcement to make, uh, which I'm really excited about. So I used to do that. Some of the members, I can see Jules, uh, Lorraine, quite a few of them used to um, be aware that I used to do five day challenges. Essentially, that was kind of how I tried to help as many people as possible. Um, my concern with five day challenges always has been that a lot of people see it as a quick fix. Like five days, bang, that's it. I've got everything sorted. As Val knows, because she actually did a 30 day challenge, five days probably isn't enough. 30 days probably isn't enough. But 
it puts you in that false sense of security. However, with that in mind, I know that there's new people in the group that are intrigued. They don't quite understand how we get results. They don't quite understand how we work. And whilst we can't work one-to-one, like there's no way that, you know, there's a thousand women in the group, you know, we can give you like a a one-to-one taster. But what I've been discussing with the other coaches is, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run a seven day challenge for the members of this group. Okay. So if you are interested in the seven day challenge, um, just put challenge in the comments. So just put the word challenge and I will send you the link to be able to access that challenge. Now, this isn't going to be one to one. Okay. Obviously, our clients have invested, they've invested in a coach, they've invested in themselves. So they get that one-to-one approach. And as you've heard from Val, that's probably the main thing, which is which is the most helpful thing because you have that guidance around you, your lifestyle. However, I have run challenges in the past and most of the women in, in this group that have done them in the past will tell you that they do help people get incredible results. They can be an amazing kickstart. But the idea behind this seven-day challenge is one, to give some of you ladies in this group a kickstart, hopefully help you lose a few pounds, um, gain some knowledge, get rid of some misinformation, but also to give you an insight into how we work. Uh, so over the challenge, you're going to get little bits and bobs from our program. So I'm going to take stuff from the program and um, just little bits that are going to help you and give you a better idea of how we work. Um, but genuinely, um, the, like, in fact, if there's any women in that are watching tonight or watching this on replay, If you have done one of my five-day challenges, just stick in the comments what your experience was of that five-day challenge. Um, And as you probably can say, you ended up working with us as a result of it. Um, So yeah, I'm going to be running a seven-day challenge. It's going to be starting on Friday. Um, The deadline for you to join the group will be Thursday. Okay, so if you want access to that, so if you're watching now or you're watching on replay, so if you're watching this somewhere in the future, uh, the deadline is Thursday, the 20, is it 22nd of April. So if you're watching after 22nd of April, you've missed out. I'm really sorry. I'm probably only going to do this once um, for the members of this group. As I said, I don't, I don't really like quick fixes like because it doesn't fix everything. It doesn't solve everything. However, I want to give people in this group an insight and hopefully give them something actually actionable. Because in the group at the moment, there's loads of information, loads of content, but nothing to go, right, I'm going to action this. Um, So I hope that will make sense. I can see there's loads of comments coming through uh, saying challenge, which is awesome. Um, Carol said, uh, I ended up working one-to-one after a five-day challenge. Jules lost seven pounds on her first five-day challenge, came away more determined. She's ended up working with us. Uh, Carol said she did a five day challenge with a great incentive. Um, obviously, Val, you did the 30 day challenge. Now, again, I'm not doing those again at the moment. I, I might do, I don't know, some point next year or later this year. Um, what was your experience of one of our kind of challenges? Yeah, it's really good. It gives, I think it gives you a taster of, of what to expect from, from the group um yeah it it, it it gave me a lot of knowledge um yeah and it, it started me up and I think it does I, I think because you you don't feel like you're doing the so-called diet um because it's not a diet as such but because you're not and then you see that you've lost weight it, it just really boosts you awesome um okay I just I can't see any questions so that's for me, that's kind of uh, the one thing I want to put out there tonight is that I'm going to be putting this challenge in, um, challenge in place. So if you want to get involved in the challenge, just comment challenge. I'll send you the link. Um, I just want to make sure because I know there's a slight delay on Facebook and there's no questions. Um, so questions for me, questions for Val, questions about, you know, Val's past, about, the, you know, about how we work, anything at all. Um, stick them in the comments. If we don't get anything, then me and Val are going to go. Um, and I really appreciate everyone that's stayed. We had like nearly 30 people at one point watching tonight, Val, which is brilliant. Wow. Um, and then there'll be a few, a few hundred, I think, that are going to watch this over the next couple of weeks. Um, okay, I can't see any questions. 
Ah, Joey asked about one thing Val did. Um, oh, okay, I've got to find Joey's question. Sorry. Uh, Joey, Joey, where is it? Um, ah, okay. So Joey said, uh, can you name the one change that you made that has made the most difference? Oh, what, with, with ARC? Yeah. One change that I've made. Um, I think the big thing is making sure that I have the protein for every meal. Um, that, that has been quite a biggie. When I look, look back on you know what I've had in the past, protein didn't factor in very highly at all. So I, I think that's that probably that is probably the biggest one. Probably very close, followed by lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I think it's really really important, and I I talked about this on the the menopause um, video a few weeks back. So most diets, and this is a massive problem with most diets, and the reason why people can lose such huge amounts of weight is because actually, um, when you're losing that much weight, a lot of it is going to be lean mass, like muscle mass, lean tissue unless you eat sufficient protein. So like most women probably say, well, I don't care, I want to lose loads of weight, but that's going to have an incredibly negative impact on your quality of life as you get older. You want to hold on to your muscle. You want to hold on to lean tissue as much as possible. It's so, so important for quality of life. It's why my nan can't sit down and stand up anymore because she hasn't got any and she doesn't eat sufficient protein to keep or build any muscle mass. But also... As uh, I might talk about in the challenge, it's really important for like controlling hunger. Like there's so many positives. So I think that's an awesome, awesome tip, Val. And anyone that's watching tonight, make sure that you increase your protein. Um, it is super important. Um, okay, Joanna, she says, did you find that you got any withdrawal symptoms from foods that you used to eat? No, because I haven't actually changed my foods. That, that, that is the wonderful thing about this is it's I'm still eating the foods that I love. But um, just just say, for example, um, quiche. Um, previously, I would have had quiche with probably half a plate of chips. Um, possibly I might have had some salad, but there's more likely I'd have had baked beans or something. Um, now when I have quiche I have half a plate of salad I have my quiche and then I still occasionally will have chips but I now have about five chips um, I don't have half a plate I have five chips because I found that actually it gives me that taste that I'm still having the foods that I love um, I have a, a, a silly little thing probably, but it, it, it works for me. It might not work for anybody else. I actually, you know, if I have five chips, I might eat two of them during the course of it and I will leave three for the very end. And that is the last thing that I'm tasting then from that meal. I'm having the thing that I've always really enjoyed, but I did have um, quiche the other week, which my husband cooked for me and he did it. I, I did tell Lindsay about this last week. He cooked it with a jacket potato and baked beans and it just didn't sit very well at all because it was lacking my salad. <laughs> it, it it's it's amazing fresh. that you're loving salad now. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely adoring salad. It's just so fresh and, you know, it just really does it for me now, which I never thought I would actually say, to be quite honest, but it does. Um, Sam, Sam has said, um, so Sam's the one going to be working with Lindsay soon. She said, I know you don't need to do exercise, but have you done any to get where you are now? No. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I have. Well, actually, I'm get, I, that, that's a bit of a lie. Lindsay, actually, because I did ask Lindsay if she would do me an exercise program mm. and she very kindly did. Um, I think I did it for two or three days, but it, I found that it aggravated a, a, a back problem for me. So we just said we you know it wasn't worth doing until I can get my back sorted again I need to see the chiropractor um I don't do exercise I do lots of walking now um I'm so pleased this last week uh five out of the seven days I've done over 10,000 steps that's awesome that's really really um, good 
And it, it, even down to the point of on my work days, previously on my work days, I would perhaps do 1500 steps in a day um, because I'd be sat here at the computer so I wouldn't be doing anything. Um, I get up and rather than sitting around watching the news in the morning, I go out, I walk. I've generally done about 6,000 steps by the time I come back home. Um, and three of the days last week when I worked, I actually did over 10,000 steps on all of those days. That's brilliant. Wow. That's really So nice. no, no, no formal exercise, but I am just, I am being more active and, you know, now the nicer weather's here, it's lovely yeah. to go out for a walk. Yeah, I've hit, I think I've hit, yeah, I've hit 8,000 today. That's pretty good for me. I'm not very, uh, I think I'm lucky if I hit 6,000 most days now. 13,707. Oh, you beat, you, you're beating me. <laughs> <laughs> um there i think there's one one more question no there's one more comment not a question um so valerie uh i think this is directed at me i think um can someone let me know how i get started i signed up um so valerie in terms of like a one-to-one -one, um i don't think you're talking about that because um for you to have signed up to our one-to-one -one, um you would have obviously had to one be on a call with me so the way it works is um you end up getting on a, like a 30 45 minute call with me and then obviously you would have had to pay money to to join and sign up from there and then you'd get access to everything would introduce you to a coach so i'm guessing i'm guessing you mean you signed up for a challenge so the last time i did a challenge was uh january um so i'm a bit confused um, but don't worry, if you want to do this challenge, if you've commented the word challenge, I will send you the link. Um, just make sure you click the link, follow the instructions, and um, you'll get emails to remind you with ev everything you need. Um, and then if you have any problems, just feel, feel, feel free to private message me. So I uh, hopefully I've answered, I, I know it's not really a question, but I hopefully I've kind of helped with that statement because um, I was a little bit confused. Um, any other questions? No other questions. So um, I just want to say, Val, um, one, I really appreciate your time. Um, thank you ever so much um, for coming on. I think, you know, already some of the comments, people saying how inspirational it's been, uh, motivational. And I think if, if you can do it, you know, you've overcome breast cancer, you've got an underactive thyroid, you've like you've tried every diet under the sun you've been through some horrific experiences and i think if you can do it and feel in control and and feel like this is it like i i am in control the diet's not in control um you know that has to be inspiration for everyone else in this group whether they work with us or not like i, I, I you know please don't give up like hopefully Val showed you that you can do it like anybody can. Um, okay, you might need some support. You might need some guidance, but you can do this. Um, so thank you, Val. Um, I, I really appreciate it. Um, and that's it. That's all, that's all I've got to say. Um, unfortunately, Val, I still haven't figured out how to disconnect us from Facebook and, <laughs> <laughs> and keep so I can actually talk to you afterwards. So I'll, I'll message you afterwards again, just to say thank you. But I do really appreciate your time. No, there's no problem. It's been lovely. Yeah. And thank you to everyone um, that's watched this evening. As I said, uh, we had a really, really good turnout. Loads of comments, loads of engagement. It's been brilliant. So thank you for everyone that, uh, that's taken the time to watch and listen to Val this evening as well. Um, see you all soon. Hopefully see you all in a challenge at the end of the week. Uh, thanks again, Val. Right. Bye. Bye.